Hello, and welcome back. So, a little bit of a confession. I totally intended to stream yesterday. Uh, early in the day, I'm like, I'm gonna do a little bit of Hitman, just kind of get myself warmed up and do some of the missions that I did terribly before and see if I can do them better. And by the time I noticed, three hours had passed and uh, I had plans to meet up with some friends for D&D in like an hour and a half, so I didn't really have any time to stream by the time I actually no noticed. So, um, yeah, I kind of accidentally just played this game too much and wasn't able to stream yesterday. So let's fix that today. So let's go ahead and get started and move on to the next mission. Uh, one thing I did notice was one of the escalations in the Paris... Uh, oh, hang on. Change the difficulty level. I didn't actually do a ma uh, master level difficulty, but... One of the escalations is go be a clown and bonk people. Pacify someone with a new bat, pop balloons, and then pass 500 guards with a bat. So, yeah, some of these escalations are absolute gold. But for now, let's go ahead and move on to... Let's see, this was the... This was the general and the... What was it, the doctor? Can't remember what the guy, other guy was, but... Let's move on to Bangkok. Actually, let me do this via campaign. Just to make sure I don't miss... Okay, Club 27, I think, is what we want, so... This is just the two guys talking about their fault being raided, so let's go ahead and rewatch this real quick. Compromise, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Was Cobb maybe the guy in the car that the mysterious guy in the, all the other cutscenes shot in the back of the head? Wow, that got loud. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. It probably isn't. And yet, a failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. Actually, is the other guy from the cutscene, maybe is he the one hiring us? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Maybe not. I assume a, an assassin organization has at least basic knowledge of who's hiring them. Take a trench, director. Or maybe not. I don't know. Make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Oh no! All right. And with that, let's move on to Club 27. Good morning, 47. Good morning. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chow Praia River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. 
I feel like every mission gets slightly less conspiratorial than the last one. Because, you know, we had... Uh, leaders of, you know, an underground organization. Then we had creators of a super virus. Then people who are causing a riot. And now, a dude who killed someone. Alright, what do we got? I think I've got... Yeah, I've got some new weapons. Because I've increased my mastery. What are the differences here? We've got extended magazine. Or... Steady aim. I feel like... If I'm going to get into a firefight, steady aim is probably going to be what I want. Uh, fiber wire, and let's get the lockpick because... Hello, do I get... I've got lethal poison vials. Okay. There have been so many times where I wanted to poison someone but couldn't find the rat poison. So let's go ahead and grab that. And... 47 sweet. Okay. What do I want? <laughs> Guess what I unlocked by doing the corky conspiracy or whatever it was. Let's see. Remote audio distraction. All right. Well, that's cool, but I don't exactly know if it's something I want to use. Don't want to carry a big gun because it'll I'll have to drop it whenever I change outfits. I really want to try the lethal syringe at some point, but I never end up with a good chance to use it, so maybe I'll see if I can get it this time. All right, let's play. Rockstar and lawyer, let's go. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. <laughs> Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. Ooh, how convenient. The age when rock stars die. <laughs> Good luck, 47. All right. So I've learned hey. from... What's up? So, I've learned from some of my previous stuff. Let's go around and just collect information first. Let's see if we can meet people. Anyone got any conversations? Hello? I wish to talk to people. I will be an extrovert. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Opportunity. picked up bits and pieces. Something about Miss Barrett confiscating an audio recording from Cross. Said it was for his own good, that listening to it turned into an obsession. Hmm. Hannah Heimel's name was mentioned. The girlfriend who died? Yeah, but you don't believe all that crap, do you? That Cross killed his girlfriend. Well, my brother. The plot thickens. Okay. Apparently, Jordan Cross has been obsessing over a mysterious audio recording featuring the voice of Hannah Heimel. However, his manager, Dexy Barrett, has confiscated the recording for her client's own good. Well, I suggest you get a hold of that recording, 47. Sounds like the perfect bait, and if my hunch is right, a chance to confront Cross with his crimes. You could start by searching Miss Barrett's private quarters, room 404, inside the Emperor's suite. So I can pop my hat out the window and this... You got anything interesting? Disgusting, naked, bearded guy just... Gives me the finger. Something tells me this isn't important. Well, he was kind of clutching a fern in an area, but look, that's not the point. The worst part is, they get to do whatever they want. Just because the lead singer's father owns the hotel. What a world, eh, Ruben? You know, Wait, was that a band member? A holiday. I paid for peace and quiet, and I am going to get it. Okay, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm buzzkill. <laughs> I'm buzzkill. Okay, never mind. God damn it. Why won't you work? Hello? What's this? A shovel? I now have a shovel! Yay! Alright, and- Oh, trespassing? I should not be doing that. Good to see you, sir. Hello! I, I don't mind me, I've just got a shovel. Actually, can I go in here? No, I don't have a keycard. 
All right. I suppose I can start by going up, getting the dirt on the rock star. I was kind of thinking I should be killing the other guy first since he's apparently down here, but I mean, I mean, if they're going to give me an opportunity, I might as well take it. Uh, where do I get a key card? Also, I should probably make sure to find the camera room at some point. Don't mind me, I'm just taking my shovel into the restaurant. Completely normal here. Hello. So, may I go through? Oh, this is the water closet. Yep. All right, there is a hiding place in here, which is useful. Throw away the shovel. Excellent. Physics be damned, I am hiding a shovel in here. Okay. Let's see if we can find the stairs. There we go. And it does look like people are coming up. Never mind, that's a waitstaff person. Regardless, I can still go up here just fine. Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York Indies. De Silva. He was in death and taxes. Does that sound familiar? Earth Society? Yes, I, I like Top 40. Uh, anyway, the Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band called well, Quit Yesterday. Yeah. Record label flew him in. Uh, he took him to the restaurant lounge. Ooh, that's fun. Interesting. Okay. The Interesting. Okay. Class is regular drummer I want to be a drummer. The band and the record label has flown in a replacement. Upcoming indie drummer Abel De Silva, who is currently waiting in the restaurant lounge. Better yet, Jordan Cross has not previously met Mr. De Silva, and the two of you do share a resemblance, 47. Do we? Uh, May I? Sir, you can't go through here. Please turn around. Man, well, so much for that. Now they're not even letting guests inside. The lounge? They closed it off? Yeah, the Cross people. I mean, it's like they're taking over the place room by room, as if the noise wasn't enough. <sighs> It's getting rude. People pay good money to stay here. We're not second-class citizens just because the owner's son decides to pop by. Ah, the owner doesn't give a shit. He's the head of a... Wait a second. Oh. When is Dexy Barrett coming to pick me up? I don't know. I just carry the heavy stuff, man. You can head up to the studio yourself if you want. No, no. I don't want to seem pushy. I'll, I'll wait. She didn't forget. So you think I will get to do some recording today? I got a lot of energy piled up from the flight over. Yeah, I don't know. Just curious. Okay. Hmm. Well, if I could find some rat poison, that'd be useful. Doing okay? Good. Hmm. Maybe I can go out the window. Yeah, let's see if we can climb up through the window or something. Ooh, or a staff room. Can I disguise myself as staff? Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> I took my hand off the keyboard for a second <laughs> and nearly got screwed over. Alright, is there a door down here? Yes, there is. Okay, apparently this is a challenge. Hey, come on, there's got to be a disguise around here somewhere I can take. Alright, we got a screwdriver. Rat poison, there we go. Okay, so if I can disguise myself as staff, I think I can poison the drummer's drink, and he'll probably take another drink of that soon. Hmm. Oh, hello. Staff. And those guys are not looking. I think I can do this. Alright. 
Go. Hey, what? Central. Hey. Uh oh. Hey, we need hey, a paramedic. Hey. Suspect is in the basement. Ah, dang it. Okay, never mind. They were too close. Let's try this again. Hopefully we'll find someone else. All right, let's see if we get the challenge again. Okay, we don't, so that's good. So it does save the challenges I've gotten. All right, don't want to go this way. Get the crowbar. Sweet. Hotel security. There we go. That's a good one. And there should be a hiding spot right here. Excellent. All right. Would be nice if we got wait staff so I could actually poison the drink, but uh, this should at least... Maybe this will get me into the room at least. All right. And is it up here? Here we go. Alright, let's see if we can get to the drummer's room. And he's taking a drink again, of course. Can I... Oops, sorry, buddy. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people in here. listens to this recording a man and a woman fighting horribly over and over again hmm, kitchen knife uh, he's, he's just watching tv one of those uh you know one of those scandinavian dramas where the people are having hissy fits in their kitchens and shit he's not watching tv but i recognize him. brian brought cake wait till your breaks go know. eat it all right okay there we go drummer can probably go in that room was a new material. I only got the call yesterday morning, so I haven't had a single note. Eh, I like the earlier stuff. Touche. No, really, are they still like a band band, or are they moving in a different direction? Like the synth riff and SH-101 bass line on the closing track was definitely... Those are something more definitely words. Sonic. I'd love to do like a really tight groove. That's me, you know. Man machine to silver. Yeah, you're certainly enthusiastic. Come on, this is the class, the most important band since the franchise. How are you not excited? Ooh, a coconut. Hmm. Oh, good, the guy's leaving. Excuse me, sir. May I offer you a coconut in these trying times? Not my scene tonight, no siree. Alright, come on. I really want to be the drummer. So, uh, Heidi, is she um, as cool as she looks? I'm almost scared to talk to her, you know. Her sounds just... Awesome. I can tell you. Strong, silent type, eh? Hmm. Ah, security. You look well prepared. Yes, I have a coconut. Don't do that, Pete! Whoops. That was bad. Hey, calm down there. I what see the hell. Why there? did you do this, you maniac? I didn't do shit. Not now, are you, buddy, huh? <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything's fine. Oh, whoops. Uh, excuse me. I forgot to knock you out properly. Knock out. Uh, excuse me, sir. Would you mind looking away? Uh, I, I get performance anxiety. I don't want to see. I don't want to be seen. Chokeholds and Karate Chops would be a great band name. Uh, something tells me this is going poorly. Also, I forgot to save. I really should have saved. Yeah, I should get the crowbar out so I don't need to keep knocking him out like that. Check the area. Check the area. Uh, he's right behind you, buddy. Would you go away? Thank you. 
Oh no, what happened in there? Getting away. Uh, approach Jordan Cross. Hey man, who are you? I'm not sure I know you. I'm totally normal, don't worry about it. Uh. Don't be hey, suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Whoa, buddy. You have to stop right there, okay? What, you want to frisk me? You heard him. You can't be here. Okay. Oh, he's in a different building. I see. All right, I guess I go across the street then. Also, what do I have that's illegal for a frisk? Okay, kitchen knife. I should probably drop that. Okay, and I'm going to keep my gun. Whoopsies. Ignore the kitchen knife, everybody. Hey, Abel, what's up? All right, cool. They don't care if I go through, which means it's time to become drummer. All right, uh, Welcome up here. Silver. How are you? Didn't see me there. So, man, there are a lot of security cameras oh, in this hey, place. Mr. De Silva. Dexie Barrett was supposed to pick you up at the restaurant lounge. Huh. Oh well, while you're here, who cares? What's up, right, sir? I'm, I'm a big fan. You know, death and taxes. <laughs> Favorite band, and you can't even recognize you me. Tell me about that performance in Barcelona. Oh, okay, yeah. how do I get up? That was crazy. So, that... Over here. There we go. So, I need to meet someone. Just ignore me. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Excellent. Hey, hey guys, yeah, are any of you like a... Uh... Mm, nothing, it's probably the wiring. I'll take a closer look, Jordan. Hey, buddy. Talk to me. Also, I think someone interrupted him with the wiring comment. Oh, hey, you're Quentin's replacement, right? Abel De Silva. Thanks for coming out, Abe. Follow me. Play the drums for Jordan Cross. Yeah, I'll drum him. I'll drum him good. Yeah, I forgot. I don't have the poison vial. Actually, I think there's going to be a challenge for using the fiber wire, so might as well get... Why don't I have the fiber wire? I... Okay, I was not paying attention to what I got. I thought I had fiber wire and lockpick, and then smuggled in the vial. Whoops. Yep. So much for that. Now the question is, does Agent 47 actually know how to play the drums? Because that's going to be kind of hilarious if he does. Oh crap, we're in public. Okay. Silva, he's here to take over for Quentin. Uh, drums all set up, Wes. Good to go. Cool. So, what do you say, man? Get behind the kid, show us what you made of. Uh, done. Okay, good start. Uh, yeah, this is gonna... This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. Oh god, he actually can. Okay, where did you pick up this skill, sir? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that was cool. All right, you're like some kind of machine, aren't you? Oh, man, nicely done. Thank you, thank you. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? There's something I want to show you. After you. Is it murder? Because I love murder. I would love to see murder. Let's go see murder. I have decided now it is murder. Just ignore the screw I have, it's it's my uh, special drumstick. Everything yeah, is so gone. sorry about the mood around here. You know, Heidi's still pissed about Quentin leaving, but you know, just don't expect her to roll out the red carpet. So just do your thing, do it well, and she'll soften up. It's fine. Where are we going? Atrium roof. Look, I want to pitch you something. The others to here. It's bad for morale. Okay. 
Is this the conspiracy? Is it sneaky band conspiracy time? Yes, I have decided that's what it is now. And if I believe it hard enough, that makes it slightly less untrue. Here we go. Let's get down to conspiracy murders. Also, could you speed up a bit? <laughs> you walk slower than I do, and that's a problem. Hey, what's up, De Silva? What do you mean, what's up, De Silva? I've been following you the whole time. Alright, is there a hiding spot around here? I don't actually Climbing see one. The oh, there's one. Ladder, I see. So, Good work, 47. I like your style. It's very tight, very new way. You, uh... You should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Uh, who's repping? Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, thought so. But believe me, man. You gotta aim higher. Anyway. So I have this project coming up. Yeah? Can I actually push you? I, think it's right I can. Now. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drummer. A hired gun, not a partner. Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Oh. So you're interested? It's what I do. Great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mull it over. Very talk subtle. To your people if you have any. You can decide when we get back to New York. Good talking to you, April. Oh no! The karma! Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. Someone could hurt themselves. Actually, did he drop like a keep card or anything? Yeah, I don't see anything around here. You're so fly. Hello. Can I get in through here? I guess not. Alright. Uh, more opportunities. Actually, I don't think I have anything for the other guy. Did it? Cross on me. Think he killed his girlfriend? All right, where's the door? Okay. Uh, I believe. Actually, can I check the map? Hey, buddy, are you on the map? You're on floor one. Got it. Um. Ah, there are the stairs. Excellent. I have successfully become drummer. Honestly, the fact that 47 can actually play the drums is probably the best part of this entire opportunity. Alright, so, the guy is over here. Okay, never mind, I need to find a door. Over here. That is Ken... The brick, Morgan, ah, there we are. Lawyer and corporate fixer. Honestly, I kind of would want to shoot him here. Ooh, someone actually knows me. All right, let's follow him and see what his actual routine is. Ken Morgan, looking Has good, Mister De Silva. Um, no, Mister Morgan. No messages. Okay. Artists. This is why I do corporate law. Any news about my suite? Housekeeping is hard at work, sir. I'm sure it won't be long now. Okay, that sounds like a couple of opportunities. Well, the first one's probably he's waiting that, for uh, whatever the drummer guy's name was. Cross. Second one, I might be able to do something with. Dude, are we wearing the same outfit? Buddy, I think we gotta... Actually, hang on. Excuse me, sir. Who are you again? That might actually be the guy, because I just knocked him out. Maybe he woke up and had a spare. You not me? What? Hey, Abel. what is this? Oh, fire extinguisher. Uh, you need to see a specialist, dude. A what crime? Silver. You look like a bloody fool. Can someone help me with this guy? Been a total Okay, uh, never mind. Oh, 
Just gonna leave, Someone and why am I hunted? Okay, I need a new outfit. On the bright side, it doesn't seem like that's the guy I knocked out, so... Uh, oh, hello, you again. Hmm. Mr. Cross, I have arrived. Damp, bright, French colonial, the smells of fish. No, truly. I look forward to leaving. Where are you? Your sons. I mean, if I could take out a gun, I could probably just shoot both of these guys right now, but I don't want to do that because I'm trying to. Well, I'm trying not to completely screw up my score. No, no, we'll meet on the QT. We don't want John to know I'm here. He might throw a fit sway Miss Barrett from doing the smart thing. Oh. Think nothing of it. Some things need to be handled in person. Okay, so he's not meeting with Cross. Trying to meet with Barrett. Oh, is she holding on to the evidence and giving it to him? Hang on. Okay, none of all of these seem to be for cross. So let's just say let's just pick one. The smoking gun. Alright, well I'm compromised, but I still have a disguise, so hopefully not too many people know it's me. Sorry, leaving. That's good, sir. Keep walking. There's nothing here. Yep, nothing here. All right, can I go through here? Uh, hello, Mr. De Silva. That's a yes. There we are. Oh, this might actually be the opportunity I was looking for. How are you? Trying to get uh, the lady and the lawyer to meet up. Please go ahead. Whoops, not this one. Don't notice me. Everything's normal. Look, you want me to deliver it? Here we go. The letter, Neil. The one Dexy Barrett told you to take down to reception three hours ago. <laughs> All right. No, I'm just comatized today. No, no, I'm good, thanks. I'll pop down in a moment. Yeah, so you keep saying. What do you care? Dexy Barrett is Jordan's manager. He's not the boss of us. Who's an old four anyway? She didn't say. But he's staying at the Queen Suite, so. I figure he's someone important. All the more reason to deliver his letter. I will. In, In a minute. Okay. Let's just save so I don't end up using up too much time. So, Dexy Barrett sends a message to the occupant of the Queen Suite, a.k.a. Ken Morgan. This must be the reason for Morgan's surprise visit. Sounds promising. Clearly, Barrett doesn't want her client, Jordan Cross, to know about Morgan's presence, so whatever business the two have, they're likely to do it in secret. I suggest you intercept that message, 47. Could be a chance to catch Morgan off guard. Hmm. Can I do anything with the bath? Uh, like drown someone, maybe? I don't know. Probably not a good idea, since these guys, you know, aren't my targets. Can I, perhaps, lure him in here? What? Do me a favor and see what that's about, would you? Well, certainly. Oh, that's okay. There we go. Okay, give me this. And pick up the note. Excellent. Drag. Now, unfortunately, there's not a hiding spot in here. Whoops. Come on, continue dragging. All right, let's, I guess, deliver the note to reception. Hopefully no one needs to use the bathroom in a while. Uh, I probably shouldn't disguise myself as this guy. Actually, I can just switch back. And yeah, I think, nope, not everyone knows it's me. Sweet. 
which should be good enough for me. Alright, let's go to reception. Oh wait, no, we need to go down farther. Wait, oh, trespassing, never mind. Reception! I have a letter! Okay. What? Well, who's Hi. the... Excuse me. Dexy Baron asked me to deliver this. It's for the gentleman staying at the Queen's Suite. Of course. I'll make sure that Mr. Morgan gets me. <laughs> subtle, sir. Very subtle. Should you really just be outing whoever's staying in the Queen's Suite like that? <laughs> Okay, Morgan, you coming? Come get your message. Message! Ken Morgan, any messages for me? Let me check. Yes, Mr. Morgan. The letter was only just delivered. Here you are, sir. Oh, finally. All right. What do you got? Basement linen room. Call me when you get there. Dexy Barrett. Well done, 47. Sweet. He is on the move, and we know exactly where he is headed. We're meeting at the linen room. Mm. Welcome to the exciting world of corporate underhand dealings. Oh, boy. Uh, can I get through there? I don't think I can get through there. Hey. Hi. What are you, some kind of roadie? Well... I don't crap. care what you are, this area is off limits for you. Uh, okay, crap. I need a disguise. I need a disguise. This is probably a bad place to get a disguise. Really is something. Guess so. Should be good at that, right? Actually, can I. Ooh, window. What do I know? Bugs is bugs. Some kind of mating Chinese breed, I guess. You are not allowed to be here! And you know it! Uh, sorry. Hey, Leaving. Sir, you are trespassing. Can you hear me? Get your ass over here. Uh, hi guys. Sir, I need you to come with me now, okay? Yep, I can come with you. Uh. Hey, you! Ah, dang it. Okay. Immediately. Yeah, I was hoping he was far enough away, but. Oh, did I drop my crowbar somewhere? Crap. You okay? Just don't move. Not moving. Moving. Oh no, everybody run, things are in danger. Uh, wait, where's my opportunity? Oh, it's already completed, crap. Uh, map, where'd the guy go? Directly below me, let's take these stairs. In the storage area, right now! Oh my god! <gasps> How do you guys know it's me? Oh, a weapon! Yay! Give me that fire extinguisher. Okay. Uh, target this way. I don't see him anymore. Move to better position. Move, please. I don't think this is going well. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. Presume, preferably with, you know, fewer screw-ups. Uh... Yeah, let's do this one. Let's stick around as the drummer, I guess. And let's get a security guard outfit before we 
um, go into the basement. Or before we deliver the letter, that is. Who are you, man? Oh, sorry, buddy. Do, do I know you? Nope, you don't. Hey, you, stop. I continue to be compromised. Whatever. Right, can I go in here? It's a good thing on this difficulty. No Ooh. Okay. Uh, it's a good thing on this difficulty, the cameras don't really mean much, except for your score at the end. Hmm. Come out, please. What? Oh, the guy's still following me? <laughs> Seriously, what happened to my crowbar? I didn't drop it with my knife, did I? Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have disguised yet. If someone catches me, I'm, I've ruined the disguise. But no one's catching me. Excellent. Really? None of these are hiding places? Oh, here we go. That's what I needed. Wait, this is compromised too? Oh, that's not good. Ken Morgan. Check again for messages, please. Hold on. No, still nothing. Is my suite ready yet? Come on, I need to give you the note. Please go away so I can give you the note. Well, this isn't good. Uh, short screwdriver. You don't see anything. Oh, did it hit the tree? I think it hit the tree. No, do not kill him. Yes, well, leave. I'm trying to distract people. He's here. On me, on me. I'm okay, uh, this is that. I don't know why I was compromised in this outfit, though. Alright, well, this outfit's compromised. Let's do the recording crew, I guess. I'm not really sure. And hopefully, this doesn't compromise me. Uh, I didn't expect getting out of that suite to be the problem. Now, how exactly Hi. am I Dick going to get downstairs? Me to deliver this. Yeah. It's for the gentleman staying at the Queen Suite. Of course. How are you today, sir? Sure. Oh, Alright, can I go through the window this time distracting someone? Sorry. I just walked behind a door. Why are you freaking out so much, lady? Okay. Good. We can do this again. Up, got a disguise. Come on, yes. Okay, is he getting the letter? Looks like he is. Uh, 
This seems like a good point to save. Well done, 47. Morgan is on the move, and we know exactly where he is headed. Hee <laughs> Just gonna hide in here. Oh, they're enforcers for this. Goody. Okay, good. He's here. Why are you question marking? Come on, there we go. Don't mind me, you two. I am completely normal, do not worry about it. And more enforcers around the corner, of course there are. I think I can go around this way, though. Uh, I hope it wasn't disgusting. No, it's just stupid. Someone left their wallet in their pocket. And it had at least 60,000 bucks. Mm, this must be the place. Wait outside, guys. Negotiations are best done on equal terms. If you think that's best, sir. Alright, and he has cleared the room. Ooh, soda. Mine. I love Dr. Pep. I will win with Dr. Pep! Yes! How's that for an assassination? This way, around the two guards. And we can leave. Over there! Over there! Uh oh. You want to die, can bring you down! Serpentine, 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 serpentine! <laughs> this isn't going well, hang on. I thought I was home free. I thought I could get out before anything happened. Would you stop that, sir? Shit. Ah, dang it. If only I had a le non-lethal throne weapon. Whatever. I'm in here. Oh, wait, there was an autosave that was closer. Thank you, autosave. Dr. Pep. Do I have anything interesting here? I mean, I got the gun. This must be the place. Wait outside, guys. Negotiations are best done on equal terms. If you think that's best, sir. I kind of want to take that guy's outfit, the groundskeeper. Regardless. Oh, do not look behind you, sir. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Bonk. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. All right. Oh, there we go. A challenge. Is that get a ballistic kill? Alright, anyway, uh, I guess don't use the front door this time. Maybe a window? More screwdrivers! Yay! You should be sneaking around here, mister. I'm not sneaking around, I'm being normal. Don't worry about it. Okay, now I can leave safely unless this guy spots me, which he shouldn't. Shit, right 
And he did. Just give me the boat. I want to leave. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess that guy, you know, since he knew who he wa I was, uh, he had an advantage on actually spotting me. All right. The body of billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Hmm. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning. Wait, I thought this was one week earlier, not later. Well, hello. Within hours of the kidnapping, someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the high moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was the sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Mm. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. see the pattern somebody does the board has asked us to chase down this shadow client and our oh, analysts cool. are closing in as we speak assassin versus assassin i'm assuming the other guy's an assassin someone's playing a game 47 the question is the game's too So, previous stuff has been presumably to, like, get the keys and stuff for raiding that Providence vault. And then this time we uh, got the billionaire mogul dad's fortune. So is this Shadow Client just trying to get rich, or what? That's a lot of challenges. Oh, now I can start in my own suite. Yay. Also, I got a knife. That's kind of hilarious. Regardless, let's go to the next mission. Okay. How do I... I hate the menus in Ubisoft games for whatever reason. Yes, yes, I'll look at this later. Campaigns. Just continue the campaign, please. Uh, I think it has to do with the fact that... Um, like, this game was sold episodically, so it just doesn't feel designed, like, to go from one mission to the next. 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. That was quick. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption... Ah, no. Uh, Good morning, do that again. Sorry, I clicked. I didn't mean to click. Shadow Client. 
ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion rooting with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert, wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the Shadow Alliance. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA Board of Directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra three. Burn, retired Mossad interrogator. Jesus. Ed Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. All right. So, no going in guns blazing? That seems weird. All right. Fiber wire and lockpick. Smuggled item... Southern Farm Perimeter Shack. Oh, right, I got the lethal poison vial instead of the fiber wire last time. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a ch Piano Man challenge. There always is. Uh, or maybe not. Ah, there we go. String quartet. Hmm. I don't think I have that much lethal poison. Alright. I guess the fiber wire doesn't really matter that much. Let's switch this around. I'll try the poison, and then... Oh, crap. There we go. Uh, and it just reset everything. Goody. Okay. I will try the poison, and if need be, I can fall back on the fiber wire. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Was climbing over that box really necessary? Alright. Starting off in a hostile area. Lovely. Where's the southern shack? Oh, right over here, I think. Get off. Thank you. Hmm, can I climb these walls or something? Oh, this will work. Also, this is my smuggle point, isn't it? Yes. Give me that. Give me that. Alright. So, probably my best course of action is to become security guard. Just at the security station watching the feeds, there's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. Where's a 3D printed man? Oh, yeah, that must be Berg. Berg. Oh, yeah, man, he's interrogating. 
Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Nice. Alright. Uh, anything good? No. Come on, turn it back on. Enough. There we go. Now, is there a hiding place around here? There is. Alright, we hide this guy and become militia soldier. Alright, maybe I'll grab his gun as well. I don't think I'm going to need it, because I don't plan on doing anything lethal, but just in case. Can I pick up the bottle? No, I can't. Not your own good, turn around and go back the way you came. Smart move. Sorry. Uh... Oh, I, he's blocking the construction site. I thought he was blocking this entire area just by being in the corner. Whoops. Okay. Now then. This guy's really far away. This map is huge. Jesus. I guess all the maps have been kind of huge. But still. Yeah, let's talk about this. So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's a point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? Team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know, I guess old Bird just had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. He sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. <laughs> I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? Make her day. All right. So if we join in on the training, that would be a good way to do it. Okay, find a key to the basement. How do I get in here? There we go. And this is why I pick block picks. All right. Are you looking this way? Oh, there's a guy right there. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Hmm. Am I trespassing if I go in here? Oh. Why did the opportunity fail? And why am I in combat? Literally no one sees me. Alright, which opportunity just failed? Whoops. Tongue tie. Oh, okay. But then... Been a trading accident. Well, whatever. I, I guess I'm fine with that opportunity being gone. Hey, hands up that body. You know what? Let's just load the autosave. Let's take a look at this guy and then follow him, I guess. Alright, opportunities, tongue-tied. Alright. 
So I need to find the key to the basement without actually stopping him. That is Ezra Berg. Well, sorry, buddy. Interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. I'm telling you, back in the day, my pops wouldn't even allow the mailman to come close to the house. He'd have to dump the letters by the roadside. And look at this place now. Crawling with all these outsiders. It just feels fucked up. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean, if it was my family house, I wouldn't be happy either. When they asked me about the place, they never told me they'd freaking demolish it. You know, I mean, I'm not even sure who these guys are. So is this your house? What do they really stand for, you know? Well, I wouldn't doubt their commitment, if that's what you mean. Let's just talk later, okay? Okay, seriously, is that your house? Because that's kind of surprising. Hmm. Anything I can use over here? Nah. So I've started. Uh, Sir, this is off limits. Sorry. We speak the same language. I, like, get you away. Also, what's this guy doing over here? Oh, I know what I should do. I have coins. There we go. That's what I needed. All right, drag, dump, and give me my money back. Okay. And yeah, let's disguise as militia elite, I guess. How do I find the key to the basement? Oh, here we go. Basement key. Anything else in here? Like poison, maybe? Hallucinogenics. Nitroglycerin. There's some fun stuff in here. Wait, what's this? A screwdriver. Always nice. Now let's investigate the basement. I got tons of respect for you guys. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. She's also kind of alone, which is interesting. Tied up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy couriers. Blend in as a hacker. You're not welcome here right now, so get out of here, okay? You are Rose, right? All right, well, basement. This is kind of interesting how all the targets are right next to each other. I wonder if I can get them all in the same room and like blow it up or something. Nope, 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 nope. That was too close. Okay, interfere with the interrogation. Boiler. Administer overdose. Doc? Yeah, the guy you've been interrogating seems to be uh, grabbing a few things right now. At least I'm, well, I think he's sleeping, but I'm not the doc, doc. <laughs> Might be worth checking in. Okay. 
So now I'm assuming I just take out Berg right away. Is that how this works? Is this guy going to knock on the window? Aw. Now I'm disappointed. Okay, screw it. I don't want you here. I did not mean to do a kill. Just pretend nothing happened. That's what I get for picking up screwdrivers. And while I wait, is there anything fun in here? Boiler. Is that gonna make noise, or...? Oh god, hello, Berg. How long have you been there? Oh god, that was... I did not realize there was a door from the outside. Okay. Conceal item in a garbage can. Turn off the fuse box. Oh wait, that's a gun. Okay. Ah, he found the gun. Okay. Let's just... Uh, let them take care of that, and then we can go through with the event. Yeah, this guy's getting the gun. I think I messed it up by swapping the guns because he already found it last time. Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Bird will want to examine his notes closely to figure out what happened. I'll need to check my numbers. Oh, you can see me. I didn't realize you could see me. Oh god, I'm all the way back here. Whoops. At least this means I didn't kill a guy. Tell Parvati, eh, man? Don't make her day. This looks good. Nice grouping. Find control. No trespassing that beyond this is point, Maya sir. Parvati, this is your first warning. Sri Lankan assassin right turned there. pirate turned insurgent. Glad we speak the same language. Alpha 6. Stand by to stand by. All right, uh, coin. Oh. Okay, dump the body. Okay, and militia elite. We're good to go. Uh, but of course, this guy recognizes me, so that's going to be a problem. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His service. How is the door already locked? Moment. What do you mean hunted? Oh, he saw me over there. There we go. Oh, apprentice notes. That's new. Alright, it reads like a student's observations of a master's work and dutifully notes Berg's questions and the mixtures he creates in his makeshift lab. It also notes that Berg frequently uses his Bunsen burner for his experiments and a reminder to keep all flammables away from the lab. Hello, can I mess with a Bunsen burner then? Oh, but I need a wrench. Okay, I need to find a wrench because I think that will let me blow up that uh, thing. Alright, uh... Give me coin time. What? Oh no, did you find Sir, a coin? You good? Stop that. Sorry. Proving anything. No, get, go get the coin, please. I'm sorry, what?
Huh. Okay, walk normally. And now strangle. Okay. Do this. Pick up my coin. Let's keep the gun, I guess. Close the door. There we go. Alright. Now then, if I can find a wrench, I can loosen the valve and then he'll light up the Bunsen burner and just blow himself to smithereens. Wrench! Hell yes. Seal item. Gun. Gun. I can't. Alright, anything else in this room? Notes. Okay, got the intel. Screwdriver. Put it away this time. Alright, then we go to the basement. Which I can actually do around this way now. This wasn't the right way. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, but there's a camera on this one. So, young friend. Let's try again. Wasting your time. We hear all the running messages. But what about your superior, the leader of the Heralds, the one you call Constant? Surely he knows more than you, such as the identity of the partners. It's possible that I never asked. What does he look like? Like a bookkeeper. Like the guy you sit next to on the bus, plain as vanilla. That's the idea. Stop looking at the interrogation, guys. Please. I want to interfere. Let me interfere, Jesus. Busy guy, Dr. Berg. I suppose he's got more to do than ask questions. Probably checking his numbers in the lab. That man is a perfectionist. There we go. Let's save, because I'm kind of about to do something dangerous. Sir, yes you, hands off. Yep, it beeped. It beeped, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to beep. Okay, are you gonna move? I mean, I suppose I could throw a screwdriver. What? I just need to talk to you, sir. Ah, why did he turn around that way? Actually, no. Stick with the screwdriver. Why do you keep looking around? It's a screwdriver. Just get it. Ugh. 
Huh, strange. We might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Oh, sure, now he doesn't look around. If anyone's there, identify yourself. No one's here. I'm not going to identify myself. Command, disregard last message. Nothing here. Over. Come on. Go see your guys, you know, choking on a spit or whatever. Uh, dude. <laughs> if not, oh. You might want to have a look. I can't hear him while I'm in there for some reason. That seems dumb. That seems like the perfect place to eavesdrop from. There we go. Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely to figure out what happened. I'll need to check my numbers. Now, if I'm reading the room correctly, he should blow himself up with the loosened or with the Bunsen burner next to the loosened valve. Create an oil leak. All right, so there's his shed. Semper Paratus. All right, and. He is currently alone, so let's go ahead and save, just in case this doesn't work how I think it does. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. That was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. Too. Okay, are these guys like on three different militaries or something? Why do I need so many different military disguises to go to different places? Uh, where's my other opportunity? Here we go, point man. Training accidents. Let's go find the point man. Man, this place is an absolute dump. Just cross your fingers that the damn thing doesn't fail again. Rose gets a lot of important phone calls. He gets mad as hell when the antenna's down. I guess he and the boss should have Hello. before they moved HQ to the middle of friggin' nowhere. Of course reception's crap out here. We barely have indoor plumbing as it is. <laughs> Not a country boy, huh? Huh, yeah. So what's wrong with the relay station, anyway? Switch is loose. Old model. If it happens again, I guess we can weld it in place or something. Well, sure, if it comes to that. That sounds useful. I don't know if the person's going to check it out personally, but...
Whoops, Whoa, I did not mean to... That? What are you uh, that was supposed to be a silent pacify. Dang it. Okay, well, we've got this. All right, and point man. Oh no, things are about to blow, run away. There we go. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Hmm, okay. Poison a water bottle. I can expose a wire. Which I should probably turn off first. Turn on, it's already off. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. You can't leave that lying around. Sorry. <laughs> the interact hotkey is the same as the drop everything hotkey. Hmm. Oh, hello, what's this disguise? Militia technician. I'm pretty sure that's illegal to use, so. Where are the hiding places in here? Just on that side. But this guy's looking directly at it, of course. Did I have, like, a sedative poison by any chance? Nope, just lethal. Can I... perhaps... Sir, please refrain from throwing stuff around right now, okay? Sorry. There was a moment where this guy was alone. Did I miss that opportunity? Where'd my. There it is. The grunts are here. So, are you the super elites? Is that what's going on? Okay, good. This guy's going out, meaning I might have my chance soon. Just in case. That was not a silent takedown. Also, for some reason the guy was looking over here. That's unfortunate. Really? Come on. Only the best man. You know it. Alright, can I maybe lure someone in here? Yes, I can. Come on, buddy. Get in here. There we go. Well, while I wait, I'll get my screwdriver. Is there anything else in the bathroom I can use? No. Sorry. Not what I meant to do. Just ignore me. Everything's fine. Please, come inside so we can have a chat over tea. I have cookies. Would you like some cookies? Come on, man. Move. There you go. I got tons of respect for you guys. Whoops, do not eliminate. I just want to subdue. Uh, 
All right. Now, if I shove your body in here, I can now become Spec Ops. All right. Now, I gotta talk to Lady. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't hit mutant time for that. I feel like I should be limping harder. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Oh, it was a thing of beauty. Whole team moving like clockwork. Perfect execution. Thomas Cross was off sight before his guards even noticed. Man, wish I could have been there. So who's this next target? Gustavo Torres, Mexican Ooh. Secretary of the Interior, one of the enemy's top operatives in Latin America. Rose wants a classic motorcade attack, harsh, loud, and fast. So we we ram Torres's vehicle, then lay down suppressive fire while Burgess, the point man, takes out Torres and That's his That's me. All right, sounds like a plan. So what's your assignment? Uh, Berlin, I think, with uh, Rainer. That's all I know. Honestly, as long as I can get to hunt down one of those fat cat assholes, I don't even care. I'm back. Here, here. Well, well, our very Good own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride. That's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Yes, ma'am. Now, let's see. Can I somehow set up an explosion over here? I totally can. Blend in as the point man, huh? Alright, let's save, because I really want to see if I can explode all of these guys. Oh god, there's more people. by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Get into position, huh? Is there another place I can blow up? Oh, there's a drum. Let's get this real quick. I don't know you. Never mind. So much for that. Let's just set up as many possible accidents as we can. Sounds like a plan. So what's your assignment? Uh, Berlin, I think. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken. I'm glad I don't need to listen to that whole thing. Expose the wire plug. Um. Ah, here we go. Turn off. Let's expose the. Let's not expose the wire. Huh? Not in the mood for playing games here. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Poison a water bottle. That's probably doable. Okay, we've got a generator. Alright, and this gas can is... Good, it's loosened. Expect you all to know this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Thank you. 
Hmm. Ooh, lots of weapons. And a crowbar. Okay, we got ammo. Whoops. Alright, now let's expose the wire. Okay, uh, I've, I've got a gun. I've got a gun. All right, let's go again. On your marks. Ready, set, execute. Okay, that was close. Disable the safety system. Team's overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable. Your point, man. What is this? Parvati oh. won't know what hit her. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Stand by to stand by. All right, easy enough. Uh, ah! oh, help me! Where is everybody? Come on, help help me. the Okay, I kind of want to just take this guy. Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. This is bad. Ah. Okay. This one? No, it's this guy. Okay. I knew there was a save. Turn off the safe system. Team's overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of sync. All right. Anything I can do from a range? Nice motion. I don't think so. I mean, I can, you know, throw a screwdriver and whatnot, but. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable. You're pulling Parvati won't know what hit her. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Uh, what? Okay, I don't like the fact that I took out a non target there. There we go. Got both of them. Nicely done, 47. Two flies with one swat. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Yes, your point man would make an excellent assassin. Alright, what kind of opportunities do we have for the last guy? Point man auditor or audition. Okay. Gimme. I kind of wanted to hear the rest of that dialogue, but actually, let's go ahead and listen to it. Let's save. And take a look at the irony. Team's 
Tank's overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable. Your point man was spectacular. He'd make an excellent assassin. The rest of the team needs to work a lot harder to meet my standards. Let's go again. Yes, sir. Hey, you! Opportunity failed. Alright. I guess that was just the entire thing. Not much to listen to. Alright, uh, where am I going? Here we go. So, this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive. I've got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit. Okay. And it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? Ooh, okay. I expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past Interpol like that? I... Okay, so I disguise as Interpol, I bring her to the slurry pit and just push her in? That seems almost too easy. Security around this place is weirdly lax. You know why I like All right, where are you, lady? Oh, wait, no, I'm looking for Interpol. Hey, can I pickpocket you? I would very much like to be able to pickpocket you. Oh, that was just Vault. I thought something would pick up. Hmm, poison the water pot. Oh, here we go. Well, this will be easy. Any hiding places around here? Guess not. What? Come on, pick up. HQ, this is Alpha Six Actual. Over. We got a oh no! Situation. Somebody got hit in the head. How terrifying! I know. We do not accept any trespassing. Violators will be shot and survivors will be shot again. That's it, sir. You can't go there. Okay, uh, there should be another body I can deal with here, right? Okay, let's get in here and swipe this disguise. Okay. Can I get in now? Will do. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Penelope Strange Graves. to see her as part of this crowd. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything in the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. Got it. I'll see you there. Okay, easy enough. Wait, this way. Here we go. Wait, what new intel did I get? 3D printer. Okay. Well, we can try the 3D printer thing later. For now, let's slurry it up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trespass. Alright. Well, this is easy. Can I blow this area up in any way? I don't see anything. Hello. An old axe. Sure. I like this better than a gun anyways. Penelope, you coming? Yeah, it looks like she is. Hello.
All right, but unfortunately, she's not coming that way. All right, let's save here. Come on, talk to her. There we go. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? What the... You need to go and pick up this weapon I just saw lying there. We can't have such disorganized security here. Um... This is Kilo Lima 64. Could do with some backup on my 12. Over. Excuse me? Oh, it's because I... Oh, jeez. Because I dropped the gun over here. Okay, can we talk now? Okay, there's no gun here. Everybody, please leave me alone. Thank you. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Ooh, hello. Is she gonna... So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just... Come back in a few, all right? All right, maybe she'll walk by the thing again. She's not. Okay. Whatever, eliminate. Actually, oh, wait, I probably could have pushed her in. Hang on, I want to try doing that. Whoa. Okay, give me this. All right, let's try this again. Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to... All right, let's save again so we don't have to go through that. Think about? Oh, okay, listen, guys. I appreciate your dedication, but please, can you just let me have some alone time? I've got to focus, and it's... Well, it's not easy with an entourage, okay? Thank you. Oh, and this time they walk different directions. Okay. But, Thank yeah. Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. It looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight, so it can't possibly be that. Diplomatic car out of Denver. Nothing unusual about the bus ride. Met up with Hall in the middle of nowhere. Burned everything. I saw her do it. There's... There's no way. Hackers erased everything here day one. No money, no paper trails, no digital... Yeah, how did we find her, <laughs> if that's the case? Possible. 
Sounds it's like she covered all her bases. Blurp. Soup sandwich. That's nice achievement name. Care of, now gain access to the tornado shelter. Wait a second. Oh, that specific combination was an achievement. Ram two people, make one person blow himself up, and drown Grace. Okay, so that was ridiculously specific, but okay. Now, how do I get out? Uh, oh, right. Use Sean's face to access the tornado shelter. Target already eliminated, opportunity completed. Alright. What's up, brother? No trespassing. Violators will be shot, and survivors will be shot again. Eh, fine. This is it. every bit as arbitrary as it looks. Random places are considered trespassing. Uh, where the heck is the stupid uh, building? Am I going the wrong way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Ah, there's the house. So I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Those are some seriously hard people. Yeah, never mind. Um. Yeah, let's just head in here and see if we can find that 3D printer. I think I'm still in the right disguise. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Oh, you can blend as a militia soldier. Okay. Useful. Alright, now I gotta find that printer. Also, is this the camera room? Can I do anything here? Oh, a key. Rose's room key. Nice. Lennon as a hacker. Ooh, that was close. Um. Let's save. There we go. Is that guy... Yeah, that's the same guy I am. Okay. So we got that weapon. Let's destroy the evidence. I was never here. Also, that guy just walked through here without noticing anything. That's surprising. Now, where is the 3D printer? That is a big gun. Gimme. Alright, um, let's go in the basement. I've got a key, why am I picking the lock? Whoops. Alright, uh, over there, is that in this room? It looks like it is. 47. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Okay. Where's the 3D printer? According to the militiamen, one of the hackers is sleeping in Sean Rose. He's keeping the biometric data. Gotcha. I would very much like to be one of these hackers, please. Salute, soldier. Or maybe I need to go upstairs and find the laptop. That could be it. Oh, hello, what is this? Nope, that's a militia disguise. And this is a radio. Mm. Can I do anything with a TV? Huh? Yes, I can. I'm it fine. is illegal to turn on the TV, though. Here we go. Ah, this looks good. Ooh, 
hacker's phone. And a soda can. Oh, that's a blend thing. I thought that was pick up the data. Uh, ah, here we go. There's a 3D printer. And I can start it. I found another one. Oh, good. I've got a key. Why are you sleeping in Rose's room, sir? Ooh, what is this? Explosive watch battery. Well, that's cool. No water. Okay. Now, did they uh, stop everything here? Haha! <laughs> So, they're freaked out that it started printing, but then they decided, you know what? Yeah, let's just leave whatever was printing there, it's probably fine. Sir, could you please move? Pretty please. Actually, can't I just take him out? There's a hiding place in here, right? Yeah. Did I have a soda can? <laughs> I forgot I was holding a soda can. Alright, dump this guy. Now, I think that actually went well. Scan Rose's face. Here we go. Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Jean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Okay. Oh, I can examine some of these notes. Yeah. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Okay, how is my handler seeing all of this so clearly? Do I have a camera on my headset or something? Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. Yes. No, it can't be. The hidden hand. Thought they were a man. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers controlling enough corporate and political leaders could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. All right, so they pointed out a banker that wasn't dead yet. Is our next mission going to be to protect that guy? To counter-assassinate? That'd be kind of cool. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade, the Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now, how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Unfortunately, we still don't know what the list looks like because we can't get any of his actual history. I mean, unless the Handler was the one who... Uh, erased it, which I don't think was the case. Ah, here we go. Found something. Sodas. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard. Ah, so that's my next message. He was my next mission. Persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Ah, uh, yes. Confer with the board that has been infiltrated by Providence. That is a great idea. I mean, unless Eric Soders isn't on the board, which is possible, I guess. 
Oh, hello. You're not sniping me, are you? Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. Ah, uh, you are sniping me. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man nobody's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Leaving witnesses? Your gift and your curse. He, f he sounds contradictory. Lives only by ending them. Is 47 the friend? Better than anyone. Oh boy. The thick plottins. <laughs> Alright, is that it? Sweet. Alright, let's see if we unlocked anything cool, but I think I'm gonna pull it here and then uh, we can probably finish this up in the next stream. I think there's only one mission left, so hopefully it's one I can spend a long time on. But, wow, this is a lot of mastery. Okay, Water Tower, Old Orchard, Agents pick up, difficulty levels, Poison, okay. A concealable baton, oh, I like that. Okay, so, and a medic poison and a concealable baton. Both of those seem kind of cool. Though I feel like a poison that doesn't kill and is just going to send people into the bathroom that's probably only going to be useful for challenges of like make sure you drown this target or something like that but the concealable baton i kind of like that considering how much i love the crowbar and stuff so i might use that but then again i'm gonna to have to find an inventory slot for it i could probably replace the piano or the fiber wire since i usually i kind of like finding the interesting arena kills nowadays previous few streams I've been doing you know whichever ones will make me the most undetected but here if it's an accident then sure it can happen in the uh, plain view of everyone that's that's cool so yeah I probably won't use the fiber wire unless I'm going for like a challenge or something so for now I'm going to call it here and like I said hopefully the next stream will uh, be something I can complete the I just realized have you not been able to actually read what I was unlocking. Ugh. Next stream, complete the game. Hopefully it lasts long enough for a full stream, but who knows. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me just double check. I don't think anyone's on. Never mind, no one's watching. There's no point in rating. So uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Vortha Weiler signing out. See you later.